guys and welcome to this double review on two brand new perfumes that were launched just recently by one of my most favorite niche houses SP Parfums and if you are new here then hi my name is Jana and I have such a long history with this German indie house SP Parfums that if you want to find out more about it then check out the description box there you'll find links to all of my previous reviews on SP Parfums and in this one I will review for you two new perfumes that Sven Pritzkolite who is the nose and the founder of SP Parfums really Released just recently and I'm very excited for it but before we get started I want to know if you have any experience with this fever farms and if you have some favorites let us know what they are in the comments I'm excited to hear from you as always and don't forget to follow me on my social media and check me out on patreon for extra perfume content and with that being said let's dive into this double review so the new releases are are called Poudre de Ritz and uh, for those of you who have been following me for a while that won't be a surprise that I adore powdery perfumes so you can only imagine how excited I was to try this one and uh, the second one is actually the flanker of the original SP mask and it is called Mask Two. and I would like to start with this one and also tell you how it compares to the original SP mask that came out last year and I love it so much that's why I wear it on the daily basis and for those who have missed my review on it check it out but here is how it smells to me basically this is a white type of a musky scent that acts like your second skin and it makes me feel like I've just taken a walk in a spring garden where acacia trees are blooming and even though this is a lighter SP perfum it is still quite strong and if you enjoy beastly fragrances that last super long and are extra projective then this beast mode house is definitely for you so if i compare sp mask one to the flanker sp mask two by the way i love sven's prayers they distribute the scent so well wow, like oh that's such a satisfaction to spray them this one is definitely way more animalic than the first one so if uh, the original sp mask is not enough for you in terms of animalic um scent then i definitely recommend you this one but if you're new to animalic perfumes then i would recommend you to check out the first one too because this one is quite animalic and even challenging for me even though i love animalic perfumes but in here i sense that funky animalic um, vibe that is going on that reminds me of hyrex that sven created for zoologist and this is definitely a skanky animalic perfume that is not for everybody and maybe sven put some hieracium to your mask too because i definitely noticed the connection between those two and today i've even notice something rubbery in the opening so that's for mask too is definitely perfume for special occasion for me but who knows maybe one day i'll get into it and it is very very strong so if you like dirty funky animalic perfumes that project really well and last all day then that is the one for you but now let me tell you about Poudre de Ritz because this is definitely my favorite between these two new releases and oh my goodness you guys I collaborated with Sven on Powder and Dust our perfume that won this prestigious award because I find that he does powdery perfumes very well and Sven just has his special way creating perfumes he doesn't try to copy anyone he stays true to himself and he has his um, very obvious style and I was so excited for another powdery perfume from him Poudre de Ritz definitely smells powdery but also sweet and it just reminds me of high society and ladies who wear expensive makeup, luxurious clothes, jewelry that costs millions of dollars and they stay in these posh hotels, they dance and don't even care about the financial side of life and if you are one of those people then I think 
put red dorates should be in your collection and in my opinion this is your signature scent it's so recognizable it has that beautiful sweet powderiness that is well blended no notes uh, jumping out of this composition it is just gorgeous long-lasting and I sensed a little similarity to Santin Glam. So if you like Santin Glam, you will also enjoy this one. This is definitely a winner over the Santin Glam because in here we have that dirty animalic thing going on, which is not input red Ritz. My mom loves it too. She described it as esoteric perfume. I am not sure about that, but I just really, really love it. So just to sum up, I need to tell you that I really enjoy the atmosphere that put red Ritz creates. And that was my review on two new releases from a Farms and Sven has his very special offer going on on his official website. You can choose 10 SP perfume samples with one and um, a half milliliter in there, plus essential collection brochure and signed book Duftspuren, which I really recommend because it is very inspiring. It is in German though, and free shipping, and he ships all over the world. So. I recommend you to check out his official website and another exciting news is that uh, he brought back his Cassis perfume from the discontinued Christmas collection. So I hope I covered everything but if you have opened questions let me know them in the comments. I'm so excited to hear from you and if you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new then please like it and if you're new here then don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell to get updates when I post new videos. And also let me know what you want to see from me next. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, smell good. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.